college students in Idaho tells Fox News the front door of the home there was wide open hours before the 911 call was ever made. Alexis McAdams is on the ground there. She has been for quite some time uh, reporting from Moscow for us. Alexis, you talked to that neighbor. What did he have to say? Sandra, well, he says that he was walking right back from campus on that morning around 8.30 and noticed that the door to that home was wide open. He says it stuck out to him enough that when he found out what had happened there, he did contact authorities and give them that tip. But we hadn't heard much about this from police. They just kept focusing on that back sliding door, which backs up to that parking lot there. But we're going to take a live look right now at that front door of the home there in Moscow, Idaho, that's still at the center of this. It's still wrapped in crime scene tape. So the neighbor says that he did give authorities that information because it stuck out to him so much. And as he passed by the home, he didn't understand why it was open. But the question we have for police that we can't really get answered is, why was it open in the first place? Did they know about this? How long did they know about it? And is it possible that the killer or killers could have walked right out that front door? So now we go to the other piece of information, Sandra, that we were able to get here on the ground. It's kind of the biggest thing we've had in the past few days. It's that white Hyundai Elantra you're looking at. That's just a stock photo or an example of a car which has the make and model that investigators are looking for. And we don't know exactly how this fits in. Do they believe that the killer or killers were in that vehicle? They haven't said. They just think that that car was up near the home, possibly in the parking lot, because off of King Road, Sandra, which is right in front of that house, which we showed you guys, you go up and around into an apartment complex, it dead ends there, and you can actually see from that parking lot directly into the house. So where was this car parked and how many people saw it is something that we've asked police. Investigators say this is just something they're looking into, but really want to talk to the person or persons inside. Listen. We're not stuck, but we do know that that car could have key information. And we are asking the public for help in this. We've gotten so much information, but we need more. We, we want that information that someone might have if they know someone who had that car or borrowed it or where that car might be now. So back at her live, we can tell you that authorities have been in contact with the ports of entry here near the U.S.-Canadian border and are trying to figure out if anyone has spotted that vehicle of interest. We also know investigators have pulled lots of crime scene uh, evidence, but also surveillance video from nearby businesses. Sandra. All right, keep us posted from there on all developments as they have been slow to happen, but when they do, it certainly helps move this investigation forward. Thank you so much, John.